Movies are packed full of tiny little details that all come together to help make each scene more believable. And in order to manage these chaotic little details, movie makers employ supervisors, like for example a script supervisor, whose job is to basically oversee things like continuity and to make sure people don't wear leather gloves in scenes where they're not supposed to be. There are also wardrobe supervisors, who are responsible for design, fitting, hire, purchase, manufacture, crafting and care for all costume items on feature films. There are also in part responsible for making sure each item of clothing used in a movie corresponds with the time period that the movie is set in. This is a less noticeable mistake that sometimes gets overlooked and makes it into the final movie. So with that in mind, here are 10 times actors were caught wearing modern clothing in older movies. Number 1. Raiders of the Lost Ark First of the Indiana Jones trilogy, Raiders of the Lost Ark was set in the 1930s and follows the story of Indiana Jones and company in their quest to find the Ark of the Covenant. In this one scene set in Cairo, we can see someone in the background who doesn't really look like they belong there. Maybe it's because they're wearing jeans, 20 years before they became fashionable. Yeah, jeans didn't come into fashion until the 1950s, so... Number 2. Pirates of the Caribbean Dated loosely around 1720, the navy soldiers in Pirates of the Caribbean can be seen wearing red coats. Well, the problem is the Royal Navy has almost consistently worn navy, hence the name, navy. They didn't start wearing red until a lot later on. Number 3. Dirty Dancing This movie was set in 1963 and follows the story of a character named Baby, who falls in love with Johnny, a holiday resort's dance instructor. And maybe it's due to the fact that this movie was released in the 80s, or that Baby's way ahead of time. As among the many outfits she wears throughout the movie, she can also be seen wearing jean shorts, an item of clothing that didn't become fashionable until the 80s. Number 4. Captain America Captured by Hydra and freed by Captain America, Jim Morita joins Captain America to fight against Red Skull's forces, and also appears to have access to future technology, as underneath his hat we can see a headset that wasn't invented until the year 2000. Number 5. Pearl Harbor Set in 1941, Pearl Harbor had a very well put together 1940s wardrobe, full of well dressed hair and pretty dresses. The only thing that was missing were the stockings. In fact, around that time, it wasn't yet acceptable for women not to wear stockings with dresses. Number 6. Django Set in the late 1850s, Quentin Tarantino's Django is a story about a freed slave who becomes a bounty hunter and journeys the West in search of his wife. He also rocks a pair of badass sunglasses that weren't invented until 1929, around 70 years later. Number 7. Braveheart the battle between the English and the Scottish in the first war of the Scottish independence was led by William Wallace in the late 1200s. In the movie, you can see William Wallace wearing two very Scottish aspects of the Scottish costume. The blue woad face paint, that at the end of the 1200s was no longer in practice, and the kilt, which wasn't worn until the 16th century. Number 8. Back to the Future in one of the iconic scenes where Marty McFly decides to rip off Chuck Berry's Johnny Be Good, he can be seen playing a gorgeous red Gibson ES45 electric guitar that he must have brought from the future because the guitar wasn't made until three years after this scene supposedly took place. Number 9. The Other Belaine Girl Natalie Portman did an amazing job of portraying the character Anne Belaine, but Natalie Portman's hair didn't. You see, Anne Boleyn was fond of French fashion, and popularised the French hood, which was basically a bonnet that showed the front of the hair and covered the back with a black veil. Also, at the time, showing hair wasn't really considered proper. Definitely not for a queen. Number 10. The Doors Throughout this movie, the character Jim Morrison can be seen wearing a pair of aviator sunglasses produced by Ray-Ban. But the only problem is, Jim Morrison died in 1971. So unless he was wearing a very early prototype, he wouldn't have been able to get a pair of these until the late 80s. Which costume mistake did you think was the worst offender? Let us know in the comments section below. For your daily celeb fix, subscribe.